Hey guys, um, today we're gonna unbox and review this uh, Sunsun submersible filtration pump for aquarium. Apparently, it can be used for both fresh and seawater. And the model number here you can see is HJ-311B. Okay, so uh, if you watched my video before, well, I have uh, reviewed a pump called uh, Resun, and uh, uh, that one we used about less than two years is now broken. So basically the uh, the motor inside here is the most one uh, susceptible to damage or wear. So it is now uh, completely broken so we're going to replace with this one. And the last one we purchased we didn't we didn't have the experience so we purchased on, on eBay we shipped from China but that one had a uh, 220 volt voltage so we had to use actually a um, transformer a up uh, down converter to convert the power. So this one we got more careful and we selected the one specific design for 110 volts for North America. Hopefully this will work better without the transformer. And you can see this on the side this is a picture of the components the body and the filter inside the main pump and the, the tube for making the waterfall. Uh, so it's supposed to work like this. Waterfall, just like the last one we revealed, should work about the same. Okay, so shows you the function curves and all that. Let's open it. Okay, so that's everything inside. We got an instructional menu. General information basically. Now this one looks uh, simpler than the last one, it's smaller because the poly doesn't take care of all the. So it's smaller, even the suction cup is smaller. Probably for a smaller tank, but really we don't care that much about it. So this apparently this is a switch, so the pump can actually be shut off the, the intake. So we'll try to open this one. Now this part sometimes is dirty because it's uh, I guess charcoal or something inside the, the the filtration. We normally don't need to use this. This is for if your water really screwed up, like uh, chemicals and uh, microbes inside, like virus or something. Normally we don't need to use this. So this is what we normally use. Ah. This is the bio sponge. It basically filters the tiny particles in the water. When your water is really dirty, you can put this on. But like I said, you can save it for later when your water is really screwed up. So, let me put this here. Make sure this is on the open. Then water can come out from here into the pump. If you close it, the water cannot go through. So basically water is sucked through here, through the slits, through the sponge, and came out here, where it's sucked by the pump, and output from here. So this is the motor basically. It's a very tiny thing. It's just turn, the turbine turns, and push the water from this into this opening, the tube. Very simple design. And you actually have a cover to protect the, the pump, the propeller. Right? So I think what else is here? I didn't read the instructional menu, so I don't even know what these are for. And if you can see the instructional menu, it doesn't even show you the components. It's actually on the box. So apparently there's something here. Number three is impeller. But I think the impeller is already in there. Let's see. I'll take out this one. The impeller is already in there, right? And four is cover. 
And the number, let's see. So all these actual things, these three components, I think, they are for for the end cap, for this one, and this one. I don't think these things are inside. So I think we can safely and this one too. It's just for the tubing. So we can safely close this. It should work. Just like our last pump. The reason I don't really read the instruction on my is it should work just like the last last pump we have. So see this opening goes here, right? So we just plug this in. The water should go from here and pump outside here. And it's for the tubing, as you can see. Probably just easiest way is probably just do this. Put this one on. The water will come out here, all the way here, form a waterfall. And you can turn it any way you want. Okay? So what are these for? And these are basically for I think the the oxygenator. You can put these basically. This is a submersible pump and uh, put in in the water and the water, uh, the air will come out of it. Just create air bubbles. And that's basically how it works. Okay, so um, we're going to try this pump now, uh, but for, for those people who are interested in not just the filtering and pumping, but also, also the aeration, the aeration tube, how, how the aeration tube works, uh, I think it works like this. This part is basically hanging out of the, the, the tank, and you connect this to the tubing here, the aeration tube, and so it's basically, oh actually uh, it's, it's supposed to be, this is supposed to be submerged in water. Then this part connect with this kind of thing, this thingy. You connect to the pump, and connect to this side, right? So this this tube goes here, basically, right? And this this part can you can still use it for the waterfall, something like that. Uh, obviously, you need some connector, but like I said, we are not we don't care about that part. We just need to use it for the waterfall. Okay, so I'm gonna put this as we intended. Suction cups on the back. The spray bar, connect it. As you can see, this is American uh, plug, and it's 110, so we don't need any power converter. And we have taken out the carbon filter. Don't need it for now. And now we're gonna we're ready to put it in. So right now we have this old one disconnected. Remove it from the side for now. So we're gonna put this new one in. The spray bar will put it this way, but we can adjust it later. And the stick to the to the glass and just push it inside until it's submerged. At least the uh, the intake water intake part is submerged. Okay, connect the power. There you go. This is a smaller version, like I said. It's compared to the last one, but it works.